Hi, I'm Tony Dalton. My name is Michael Mando. This is Patrick Fabian. My name is Giancarlo Esposito, and this is People Pop Quiz. Hello, Jimmy. You know what's coming next. Michael Mando, absolutely. I would, uh, oh, I take that back. Mando's everywhere. He, Mando is Mando wherever he goes. You know who? I, I would say Patrick Fabian. I would say Patrick Fabian is the most, because this guy just shows up. He shows up, he wakes up at five in the morning. He has a chance to cook, to hike, to go to the gym, to talk to his daughters before we even started the day. So I feel he's got the most kind of like uh, Dr. Jekyll vibes going on over there. I would think it would be uh, Ray Seahorn. I'm gonna give it to Ray Seahorn. She has a way of being chameleon. With a change of a, high, a hairstyle and a change of an attitude, I think she would love to be subsumed by whatever this new thing is. Maybe this was all too subtle. Oh my gosh, well, it's not Mando. It's not, it's not Tony. I know. You want me to tell you? Oh, Giancarlo. Giancarlo Esposito. That's right up his alley. Ray, Seahorn. I did. I worked at the Dean and DeLuca at the Guggenheim on 88th and 5th. I what? The Guggenheim in Mexico? Oh, I should have known that because you studied in the, oh. I, I should have known that, Tony. Wow. Wow, he always surprises me, Tony Dog. So, Tony, you, Tony, you make a mean coffee, huh? Next coffee's on me. <laughs> Barista. Ten cities, four continents. Michael Mando. Oh, Mando. Mando's our world traveler, without a doubt. My man Mike over here, Big Mike. <laughs> yes! Big Mike! <laughs> Let's get it over with. Bob Odenkirk. Hmm. Uh, oh, you know what? I believe it was I, 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 the most handsomest of the castmates, I believe. The one that had beautiful Sean Casty like hair. Patrick. Oh, wait. Was that me? I think that was me in the 100th episodes of Friends. Patrick told me that. Nurse Dan and Phoebe gave birth to the triplets. It was an awesome evening of theater. Are you free tomorrow? Sure, I'll get somebody to cover my shift. You know, I'm so in my ego right now. Uh, yeah, I know what I want to say, but I'm going to say Giancarlo exposing something. Michael Mando, go for it, Mike. I can't say because I'm I was one of them, so I don't I don't want to. And I know John Carlo was one of them, so you just tell me. Uh, what? Who? Did... <laughs> you figured I knew that was the answer. Anthony monologue. I know a lot of people really liked his villain, uh, and and you know what? Rightfully so. He was great. What a joke. Seahorn? I'm gonna say Giancarlo. <laughs> yeah, it was me. Hey, I got them all, buddy. I got them all. I have been on the show with these people and I've had dinners and lunches with them and I've hiked up months with them. I just, have, obviously I've been talking about myself the entire time. I was, I was, uh, I was auditioning for Morton DaCosta for Maggie Flynn at the Winter Garden Theater. And uh, my brother had been shoved to one side after he sang his song and I was shoved to the other and I watched from that side of the stage while five other kids were, went each way. And I quickly realized I was on the wrong side of the stage. And my manager, Ernestine McClendon, um, put her big hand in my back and said, would you hear this boy sing again? And I was so nervous that I just let go of all of the, um, kind of, uh, uh, all of my fear and I belted out happy birthday and they said, oh, oh, you can go to that side. And I got the role. <laughs>
I was recently at a personal engagement and someone came up to me with that playbook of Maggie Flynn in pristine condition, showed it to me. Um, I thought they wanted me to sign it and they gave it to me. So now I have that as well, 1966 and a half, 1967 on Broadway, leading me to this moment. Better call Saul Gustavo Frank, where all I have to do is say, don't mess with me. I will kill you. He has it. I would imagine it must have meant double, maybe for John Carlo because he was in Breaking Bad, or Jonathan Banks. I would say Jonathan Banks. He's got such a uh, like a tender heart, you know. He's got a st strong exterior, but really sweet on the inside. I think it was me. I I I, I wound up doing um, some work that was an insert where I had to look into a pool of water. Water is free flowing. It's also reflective. And it um, allowed me to think back to all the great moments of the show. And I just teared up and started to cry and made this huge speech that people told me that they will never forget about why we do what we do and what creativity really means to us as human beings. You know, it's funny, you have final scenes with one another and then other people, you know, sort of rap and it's, and it's that weird thing where all of a sudden you're like, oh, oh, this is the last time we're at this particular set and you start to get too emotional or then you realize, oh, it's, oh, it's the last time I'm gonna say these words as this character and that gets emotional. But I can guarantee you, without a doubt, Ray Seagorn was the one who was the most emotional. It was one of the best days of my life. Giancarlo. I would say Howard Hamlin. Is it me? Oh, good. Well, that's good. Don't tell Mando. Don't make him mad. <laughs> See, Tony? Finish strong, bro. Don't let bull. Don't let bull. It all checks out. Dental records, too. <laughs>